Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I'll show you five easy ways to move rows and columns in Excel. Let's get started without further ado. While creating data on an Excel spreadsheet, it'd be a lot helpful if the data is organized or personalized to our needs. That's why we keep moving and organizing our data all the time. It provides better readability and helps us make sense of huge worksheets with a large number of rows. In Excel, you can move rows and columns using a couple of different methods. First, I'll show you how to move rows using the insert, cut, and delete method. Select the particular row where you need to move the new row. Right click on the row and click on insert. A blank row is added and the rest of the contents are pushed down. Next, select the row you want to move. Right click on the row and click cut. The cut row will appear with a moving dots animation. Now, right click on the row and click on paste. This moves the contents onto the new row and leaves the old row empty. Finally, right click the empty row and click on delete. This successfully moves the row into the destined place. In the same way, you can move a column using insert cut and delete method, following the same steps we use for moving a row except use it on the column. First, insert a new column, cut the required column and paste the column in the desired location. This process is easy to understand and execute, right? But it's time consuming. There are better ways in Excel to easily move a row or column like a pro. The best one is to move using shift key. In the next example, I will show you how to easily move a column using the shift method. Select the column you want to move. Move the mouse pointer to the border of the selected column and you will see the pointer changing to a move icon. Hold shift and drag the column to the desired location. The place it will be moved to will be highlighted as a red line. Drop the column when you see the red line and you can see the column moved to its desired place. It is that simple. You can try the same for a row by holding shift. These two are basic functionalities used to move a row or column. But there are simpler methods. In fact, while moving and replacing a row, you don't hold the shift while moving. Let me show you. Select a row as usual. Drag and drop the row without holding shift. Once you drop the row, Excel throws a pop-up saying, do you want to replace the data? Click yes and the data will be moved and replaced. You can delete the empty row by right clicking on it and deleting it. Another functionality is to move and copy a row slash column. This is also similar to the previous method. In this method, you can do this by holding control instead of shift. I'll show you how. Select the row just like the previous method. But in this method, hold control while moving the row. Drop the row in the destination and you can see the row copied onto the desired row. That's all folks. In this video, we saw how to move rows and columns in Excel the easy way. You can move the rows or columns by the insert delete method or using the shift method. Try all of them and see which method suits you best. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments section. We are always happy to help. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.